Hi, and welcome to the last week of science, your new place to catch up on all the science things that you might have missed last week. Let's jump in. Oh, sea anemones. Not only are you the home of my favorite fish, Marlin and Nemo, but you're also my fifth favorite sea creature. Your ability to inject your prey with venom and the fact that your mouth can also function as your butt really clinched that top five slot. But it seems that you might also be the future to my fountain of youth. There has been documentation that a sea anemone has lived for around 100 years. Now this wasn't some sort of old calcified moving fossil. This creature was as young and virile as any other 10 year old sea anemone. I mean, whatever that means in marine creature talk. It seems that to stay so young, a sea anemone must replace its cells quite frequently. Dan Rockstar of the University of California, Berkeley, and his team are studying these creatures to see how they achieve this. We would love to be able to find a gene or a pathway that allows it to stop aging, Rockstar says. The one downfall, however, of living a sea anemone life is that one must simply live in the moment. No one's memories can truly be kept when cells are being replaced frequently. Nights laughing with friends, horrible cheesy jokes told to you by male family members, all of those awkward tween moments that tend to roll over into adult moments, those go away. While it would be great to live forever, would it be worth it to forget all of those memories? Soon, your Amazon Prime packages won't be the only things that drones are dropping off. A UK-based startup called Biocarbon Engineering wants to use fixed wing and multiple rotor drones to plant 1 billion trees per year. This planting will be used to help with the industrial scale deforestation that's going on. The drones shoot the seed pods into specific locations and then check up on them throughout the year to help them plan for the next year. They have a few videos that tell all about their plans, so I will just link them right here. I'm excited to hear more about this group and their process, but my only thing is that I hope that they name the first drone the Lorax because, I mean, it goes without saying. I speak for the trees. Let them grow. Let them grow. Everyone has heard of the phrase, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, life gave Lake Erie more seasonal harmful algal blooms, so scientists turned those into a battery. The harmful algal bloom caused by blue-green algae was so robust last August that it left nearly half a million people in Toledo, Ohio without clean water. In that time, some researchers collected samples, and it was found during testing that by heating up the harmful algal blooms, or HABs for short, at temperatures between 700 to 1000 degrees Celsius in argon gas, the HABs can be converted into a material called hard carbon, which can be used as a high capacity, low cost electrode for sodium ion batteries. It might seem a bit weird since sodium ion batteries aren't really used commercially. I can buy a lithium ion battery at my local drugstore, but if I wanted a sodium ion battery, I would need to do some medium level breaking bad science. But Dr. Da Deng of Wei State University, the head researcher for this team, believes that this find could potentially replace the lithium ion battery. Using HABs to create electrodes gives you two for the price of one, since we don't want HABs in our lakes, and sodium ion batteries are more cost effective than lithium ion ones. So thank you, Blue Green Algae. It definitely sucks when you ruin my leg time, but soon you will be powering my cell phone, so I'll just call it even. <laughs> Lastly, a Michigan farmer didn't only harvest his wheat field, but found the skeleton of a mammoth beneath his crops. The remains are those of an adult male that lived approximately 11,700 to 15,000 years ago. This mammoth was huge, but it seems that Everything before humans came onto the scene were huge. Mammoths, dragonflies, centipedes, Ugh, centipedes, Ugh, no. A world where there are man-sized centipede-like creatures is a world that I just can't live in. Of course, everything I talked about will be in the bottom box. Please visit my website at yosciencesawesome.com or click the link in the box. 
You can also tweet me at YoSciceIs on Twitter. And see you next week. Bye.